an account receivable is a verbal agreement between us and our customer. We send them an invoice and they're going to pay us in 30, 60 or maybe 90 days. But sometimes customers run a little short on cash and they approach us about getting an extension and we might agree to change their account receivable into a note receivable. And there's two reasons we might do that. One is that if we call it a note receivable, we can attach an interest rate to it so we can earn interest. And secondly, they'll give us something in writing that acknowledges that they owe us the money. So if we have to sue them and we have to go to court, we have a written piece of paper that documents the debt that they owe us. So let's talk about changing an account receivable into an adult receivable. That, does that happen very often in the real world? No, but it's a great opportunity to talk about accrual accounting and calculating interest expense. So our customer deadbeat owes us $10,000 of an account receivable. He comes to us and says, hey, I know I owe you the money. Uh, I can't get it to you right now, but I have a big deal that should close and I should be able to pay you by November 1st. So on June 1st, we agree to change his account receivable into a note receivable with an interest rate of 9% per year. So a note receivable is an asset. In fact, any account that has the word receivable in it is an asset. Assets increase with debits. And the account receivable is also an asset, so we're gonna decrease it with credit. So we debit note receivable for $10,000 and credit account receivable. Now remember on his books, it's a note payable, but on our books, it's a note receivable. And then we make a little note to ourselves to remind us and the next person that looks at our books exactly what this transaction represents. Okay, in an effort to make this mildly interesting, let's pretend it's September 30th. So four months have gone by, June, July, August, and September. And let's say we have to prepare an income statement and a balance sheet. Maybe we're running down to the bank to get a loan or something. Whatever the reason, we have to prepare an updated income statement and an updated balance sheet. Well, he hasn't paid us any interest yet, but we've earned interest. We've earned four months worth of interest. So we're going to have to debit interest receivable and credit interest revenue. Why don't you pause this video and see if you can figure out how much it, four months worth of interest is on this 10,009% note. I hope you got $300. 9% of $10,000 is $900 per year, but we only have earned four months worth of interest revenue at this point. So what I like to do is I like to take that year's worth of interest, $900 divided by 12, and that gives me a one month's worth of interest as a starting point. So 900 divided by 12 is 75, so $75 every month. Four months has gone by, so four times 75 is $300 worth of interest revenue. Interest receivable is an asset. Assets increase with debits. And revenue increases with credits. We remember that because expense to debits, expense to debits, expense to debits, and the opposite of expenses is revenue. So another month has gone by. It's November 1st, so the month of October has gone by. It's time for him to pay us. He's gonna pay us the original principal amount of $10,000 plus five months worth of interest. June, July, August, September, October. We've already accounted for four months of that interest revenue. So we only have to account for one more month of interest revenue, $75 more. So the last journal entry in this little drama is, he writes us a check for $10,375, cash is an asset, assets increase with debits. We take that interest receivable off our books. Remember, we already booked that uh, interest revenue for, revenue for June, July, August, and September. That's four months. Another month has gone by since last we accrued for interest revenue, so we book $75 worth of interest revenue for the month of October. And we take that receivable off our books. Note receivable is an asset, it increases with debits, and it decreases with credits. And we make a little memo here to advise our next person that uh, deadbeat repaid his 9% note, including five months worth of interest. So the only interesting part is that this $300 represents interest revenue that we've already booked. And this $75 represents one month's worth of interest revenue for the month of October because we had not yet accrued for that.